Liam, so great to welcome you to St Kilda. Tell us about the move from Frio to the red, white and black. Um, yeah, it's definitely been good. Obviously a pretty um, big move um, going from Perth to obviously Melbourne, but I'm really excited to start my new journey at St Kilda and uh, I think I've built a good relationship with uh, Ross and Brad over the time that I've been at St Kilda. A very short time, but I'm really excited to get over and um, yeah, get started in the um, red, white and black. Yeah, tell us how can you are to start working with Hilly and Ross. I know you're going to be moving in with Brad as well. Yeah, I'm excited obviously to meet everyone. I um, obviously have a great relationship with them too. Um, and obviously just to learn and expand my wings, obviously as an AFL football player. I'm really, really excited to learn as much as I can from Hilly. And, um, and he, I think, has developed a great, a great name for himself over the years he's been in the system and I'm excited to, to obviously sponge as much information as I can. What do you reckon is your greatest football memory? Um, I would say definitely coming, obviously getting drafted um, in 2019 would definitely be my greatest moment. Obviously all the 18 years of, um, of actually wanting to be an AFL player or, and then obviously making my debut was probably one of the the best uh, moments of my life and my family's life as well. So um, yeah, I was definitely cherish one of those memories and hopefully I can't wait to cherish the memory when I run out for the for St Kilda. Describe what your perfect day off looks like. Um, I'm really into golf, so obviously um, that takes up five hours of the day, but um, yeah, that, or even more, especially when you play and then sit back and have lunch or whatever it is. So um, definitely golf and then, um, I love watching any type of TV series on Netflix and I think, I think that just relates everything I do off field hopefully um, goes back to on field because obviously I want to I wanna have footy as my main priority but when I, when I get away with it, I'm away from it, I love to do that as well. Tell us about Tied to Culture. Yeah, Tied to Culture, we, um, I started with a few mates in high school, um, it would have been around in year 10 so it would have been up for about 8 years now. Um, yeah, it started just a little fun project at school where um, we, we basically do an art exhibition at school and um, yeah, we made the tyres to sell around the school and we sold around 500 within two weeks I'd say so. And yeah, we thought that would a pretty, pretty cool um, business idea that we came up with and um, we actually just started it. And then yeah, we got a little bit of pocket money as a 17 year old, which was pretty cool to actually say that and now I guess um, <coughs> investing into my own business is something I really love and I really um, inspire to be a great, I guess, a great entrepreneur in the future and I think that's going to be my main priority off field as well. Got a three in one for you here. Favourite song, favourite movie, favourite holiday destination? Um, I would say my favourite song, I wouldn't have one but I'm really into my country music so either an artist, Alan Jackson, um, um, yeah there's a lot of new ones like Luke Holmes, Morgan, uh, yeah I'd love to obviously um, to go into my country but um, would my favourite song would probably be Dreams and Nightmare by Mac Mill. Um, I listen to that every time I go into the, um, before I enter the stadium and that's my last song before I run into the field so that's probably my favourite, it's pretty hype. Um, yeah I love when I watched it on the, the um, new Netflix series where obviously the, um, the quarterback Netflix series and when Paddy Mahomes listens to it, I think, yeah, it's something that inspires me to go out and do it. Um, my favourite movie would probably be the Creed series. Um, obviously, I love, yeah, I love that um, series where it's obviously a, a motivation and a boxing thing, and I love that so type of sport, boxing and UFC. So that's pretty a pretty cool movie that I love. Um, my holiday destination, um, I'd love to say. Uh, I reckon my holiday destination idea would be, I've always wanted to go to Hawaii, um, so Hawaii would be my next holiday destination obviously, um, a great weather and yeah I'd love to go to Hawaii. Who was your football hero growing up? Um, <clears throat> so I grew up watching Surioli, uh, he was probably one of my, my favourite players that obviously I watched when I was, when I was a young kid and he was the reason that um, I started going for Hawks when way back in um, about 10 years ago and he yeah loved the way that he played but then when he went out of the system obviously 
Um, Sonny Walters has always been someone I've idolised and um, I've been really lucky enough to play, play with him for the last four years and yeah, he's taught me a lot off-field and on-field as well. Who's the most famous contact you've got on your phone? Um, I don't really have that many contacts. Um, I would say famous, I mean, pretty close to Danny Green, but yeah, I'd say, yeah, he's probably him or, yeah, he was probably, well, yeah, one of my, one of the people I, I always get um, advice from. Obviously, he's been, he's done it at the Wells Stadium and, um, yeah, he's obviously been at the top of his sport and um, I've loved, I've loved learning from him and um, he's a really dedicated, dedicated person and a dedicated human and I love learning from the greats and obviously he's one of them. You've got so much on outside of footy, but what's your favourite thing? Um, I've got a lot of things going outside of footy, but um, I'd say my favourite thing to do is obviously go back to the country and reconnect with uh, my culture and my people up there and I think that always centres me to be the person I am today and when I get out to the country it's always always really connecting and um, I love the fishing and the countryside and everything and open fire is always my favourite. Sitting around with um, family and friends and talking, talking a lot of stories and that's where the main storyline and main things that we talk as young as young people and I think that's probably one of my main favourite things to do. And to wrap it all up, how excited are you to be a Saint? I mean, I'm pretty stoked. Obviously, um, been in Perth for about 10 years now and obviously went to boarding school for six years, um, played four years at Freo. I'm really excited to obviously get over and be a St Kilda. Um, I'm excited to meet everyone there and meet um, all of the fans that are pretty faithful to the St Kilda Football Club and I'm happy to obviously wear this um, proud club and obviously there's a lot of um, rich history with Nicky Winmar and all the rest of it so um, yeah I'm excited to be um, hopefully going over there and marking my own footsteps.